Okay gearheads, today I'm going to go over the Trunion bearing upgrade for the rockers on LS1s. Uh, they're known for going bad and dropping needle bearings all throughout your engine. You can't really get them out until you go to rebuild the engine, get them out the oil pan again or wherever they landed. So uh, today we're going to try to anticipate that and uh, do the upgrade, the Trunion upgrade for the 6 liter 92 Camaro turbo build. Uh, today I'm going to show you what tools I used so you know you already got them readily available all picked out and you don't have to mic them, measure them out like I did. Uh, what we use is a half inch 7 8 socket and a 3 8 9 16 socket. We push with the 9 16 and we'll catch it on the other side with the 7 8 you notice on the rocker one side has wings the other side does not. I use the side with the wings to support the catch socket. Everything lines up smoothly. We'll go ahead and put it in the vise. Center everything up. Center it on the jaws and then tighten it up. Once it gets going, you'll notice when it's about to fall through, you catch it, otherwise you're going to be picking it off the floor. That's it. Got the shaft come out of the center, bearings for each side. All right. Once I get all these done, I'm not going. I'm not going to make you sit here and watch me do all 16 of them. When I get these done, I have them all bare like this. I'm probably going to soak them in some purple power, degrease them, get them all cleaned up. Once they're clean and ready to go, I'll clip another video of installing the Trunion upgrade. All right. I'll be back. All right, gearheads. We got the rockers all stripped down, cleaned up, for the most part. They were soaked in uh, purple power for about 24 hours scrubbed off, cleaned up, and uh, and we got the Trunion kit here ready to install. Trunion upgrade. Uh, comes with the new bolts, Allen head. We got two bags with the new rocker shaft, a bag of bearings, and a bag of clips here that I've got dumped out. Okay, over here we've got a couple that I've already taken care of, already done. Got a clip on the outside. Uh, something I need to point out that the instructions point out multiple times that's very important it says is that uh, if you look at the bearing one side of the bearing has words the other side is flat smooth nothing on it so the side with the words should always be facing outward and they say it's very critical alright so what I'm going to do is go ahead and install so y'all can see how it goes also the kit comes with uh, two thick washers. These thick washers will go on the ends. The shaft will actually fit through the washer. Uh, it eliminates the need to have any type of socket when pressing them on. You'll see. All right. First, we take a rocker and a bearing with the words out, facing outward. Set it on top. Set the vise. I take the washers and put it on both sides to keep it marking up the rocker. Once you get some tension on it, get it lined back up. Once you get some tension on the bearing, you want to make sure that it's going in straight and not at an angle. If it starts going at an angle, it's going to destroy your rocker there. Now as you're pressing it in, you're pretty much going to take the washer all the way flush to the rocker, but the whole purpose is to try to get that bearing in there flush with the outside edge of the rocker. Don't over crush it, break your rocker in half. Easy to do probably. I keep getting the urge to keep on pressing. Alright, once you get the bearing in, you look at it. Make sure it's flush, everything looks flush there. Words are facing outward on the on the bearing. Flip it over, take your new rocker shaft, slip it down in there without knocking the bearings out of the race. Take your new bearing. Words facing outward. Slide it over that shaft. Take your washers again, doing the same. Here, what I'm doing, 
I'm not worried about alignment or anything yet. All I'm trying to do is get it in there and get it started. I want to get that other bearing seated and started. Then after that, I'll come back and line everything up. All right, here we go. See, there we go. It's pretty much seated now. Back it off a little bit. Push the shaft up until it goes to that watch. See, you can tell it's going through that washer because it's catching it. And then you do hold it still. Do the same thing for the other washer. There it goes. Snug it up a little bit. Move. Try to move the shaft back and forth to make sure you still got it centered, which mine's not right now. Make sure it goes back and forth. Get some tension on it. Check it again. It's going all the way to both washers. You'll be able to tell if it's going into. Make sure it's going into both of them so that it clears when you press it and then start pressing. Same thing with this bearing, just press it all the way until it's flush. And that's it. And notice the shaft sticks out both sides. Just barely clears the inside of the washer. That's what you want to happen. Take the washers off, set them down. Words are facing outward. And then you come in with the clip. Now this is not the right tool, but it's the only tool I have, so we'll make it work. There's one. Flip it over. Get the other. That's it. The Trunian upgrade installed. LS1 rocker. On to the rest.